Yep. Can I say thank you to everybody for coming along today and supporting this, and congratulations to the Daily Express and Nicky Sinclair for getting all those signatures and for allowing this debate to go ahead today in the House of Commons. So well done there. Terrific. Yay! There's one slight sadness though, isn't there? A government that talks about liberty and democracy as we speak, they're in there saying that isn't it wonderful that in Tunisia yesterday, the Tunisians were able to choose their own government and govern their own country. And in Libya, they'll be able to choose their own government and govern their own country. But there's one country which all three party leaders say we must not be allowed to govern our own country, and that is our very own United Kingdom. Where, shame! Shame on them. Shame! Where, where all three party leaders have put a three-line whip on their MPs to say, vote against the British people having a say. And that, I think, is an absolute outrage. Of course, they're trying to fob us off. They're telling us the time's not right. With these so-and-sos, the time will never be right. The time will never be right. We encourage all MPs this evening to vote with their conscience, to vote on behalf of their constituents, and to vote above all in the interests of this country. But we accept that they're going to be in a minority, because the career politicians will never do that, the career politicians will never upset their leaderships. Well, there's one good thing that will come out of this today, and that is millions of people who voted Conservative, Labour and Lib Dem will say to themselves, what is the point going on voting for parties that are giving away the governance of this country at a time when our economy is being so damaged by EU law? To hell with those parties, we're going to vote UKIP. The one winner out of today will be UKIP. Yeah!